I'm Ryan Nam, and welcome to Nam's News. Over the years, women and men have been getting into the spirit of prohibition. The prohibition has been seen as the solution towards home abuse, poverty, and crime. Of course, there are those who are against this action. In fact, Theodore Seuss Geisel was caught drinking alcohol with friends in college during the Prohibition era and was asked to resign from all extracurricular activities. To continue working on his college's humor magazine, he used the pen name Seuss, which was later became Dr. Seuss. Woo-hoo! Okay, yeah. Honey, I'm home! Where are my chicken and waffles? Oh, hi! Um, we ate dinner a couple hours ago while you were drinking with your friends. Um, and we didn't eat chicken and waffles. We had tomato soup. I want my chicken and waffles now! Right Sorry. now! Sorry. Oh. Honey, where are they? Carrie Nation was an extremist who fought strongly to abolish alcohol in the U.S. as the political cartoon depicts. She attacked alcohol-serving establishments with a hatchet and gave fierce speeches attacking drunks and misogynists. <clears throat> no man who drank or smoked could ever come nearer to me than the telephone. I say, I won't let you, you nicotine-soaked Beer smeared, whiskey greased, red-eyed devil, talk to me face to face. Man, when I, after that, dude, I just told her, you know, shut up and you can just take the kids, all right? Yeah. You don't do what I say. Mm -hmm. She's just property, man. Oh, man, you know what you're talking about. She's just so annoying, my woman. She just she won't do what I say. She won't listen or anything. Yeah. No bueno, man. Once prohibition was achieved, women were inspired and continued the fight for the vote. Suffrage had been a fight fought many years before the Temperance Act, but the ban on alcohol convinced women to fight more. A drunken husband is still the leader of the family in the progressive era, which means that the wife would still have little control over his abuse. It was very difficult for a woman to escape her challenging home life without consequences, because divorces were very messy and legally improbable. Even if a wife succeeded in getting a divorce, the husband was very likely to keep custody of their children. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you think you're doing? I'm Susan B. Anthony, and women deserve the right to vote. Well, I'm the law, and I say women don't get to vote. You're under arrest. Let's go. All right. Go. What? How could you do that? Women deserve rights. No, they don't. 